But I am going to have a very uh, simple tour with Dave, uh, the export representative for the country. And uh, let's see what the country has uh, to offer. Uh, it's in South America. And I'm glad to explore different countries. This expo is really fulfilling and helps us to uh, know different things that we were not taught, like I never saw it on the map. The Expo 2020, I get the opportunity to explore different countries. I feel like almost I'm traveling and these are the countries I would even have interest and want to visit in future and show the diverse cultures, show the world of experiences and be uh, practical with the world, show what they have. I introduce Dave from Sunilam. Uh, he is going to give us a very quick tour of the country and explain a little bit about the country as I'm sure you all want to know about the country as much as I want to know. So Dave, yes. feel free to speak to <laughs> Hello, my name is Dave Simpson. We are here in Sur uh, Suriname Pavilion at the Expo 2020. So as you can see on the map, we are in South America. If okay. you know where Brazil is, you've heard of Brazil, right? Yes. Uh, we are a small country on top of Suriname. Good day, sir. Welcome mm -hmm. to Suriname. We're in between the Amaz Atlantic Ocean and the Amazon. So uh -huh. this is our country. And this little red dot is our capital city. Okay. And most of our country is uh, only forest. So we are the most forested country in the world. Mm-hmm. And we're multicultural. What you can see here is a, a traditional kitchen. Mm -hmm. We call it Grandma's Kitchen. Okay. This is a symbol of our hospitality because if you come to Serena, our grandma will always cook for you. <laughs> something. Uh, okay. Before, before you leave. <laughs> Yeah. And we're uh, multicultural because of our slavery history. There were many different cultures brought to Suriname. Mm -hmm. And after slavery, they just stayed. Uh, we even have like a, a synagogue and a, a, a mosque right beside each other. They even share the same parking, uh, parking space. Okay. Uh, we have four main religions in Suriname. We have the Hindi faith. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Christianity, Muslim and Jewish. We still have other ones, but these are the main, uh, the first one. Okay. Uh, in Suriname. This is our flag. The colors have meaning. The green stands for our fertility because we have a lot of uh, forest, Amazon jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, white stands for justice. Uh, red stands for unity because uh, our blood is uh, all the same color. And in Suriname, we don't look at skin anymore. Okay. And uh, yellow stands, uh, the star stands for the rising sun. And we always look to a new day to have new hope for a better future. See the wall of diversity. These are all, we call them all Surinamese people because they all live in Suriname. Okay. Um, we have uh, people from Africa, we have from India, we have Indonesian, we have even Dutch. Uh, and we have made Lebanese, we have Chinese, but the uh, uh, original inhabitants of Suriname were the indigenous people. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is named Amashina, he's one of the last shamans uh, in Suriname and we will be flying him over in a few weeks to give a lecture, but right now he's being studied by scientists because we don't, we're not sure if he's, uh, he can handle the, the vaccines and so on. Uh -huh. So they're observing him now and if they get the green light, he will be in Dubai because he has a message about climate change and uh -huh. uh, he wants to share some medicinal wisdom uh, of the Amazon. How old is he again? He's uh, 85. 85, okay. Yeah. This is uh, uh, from our slavery times. The, as you can see, the African Maroon traditionally, they don't wear that much clothes. So mm -hmm. when the slave came, the slave master forced them to cover themselves up. And so this, uh, the photo was made to, to, look, to uh, make them look uh, more fatter. But uh, as you can see, this Creole lady, they still wear it today as a fashion statement. Okay. Because uh, they were so strong that the slave masters couldn't break them. So until this day, it's, it's worn as uh, a fashion statement to, to show that uh, nothing can get them down. Because most of our land is only jungle, 
Mm -hmm. The only way to travel them is by by boat. Okay. So the, in slavery times, a few slaves escaped into the jungle, and they were met by the indigenous people who taught them how to survive in the Amazon. Okay. So we still have uh, original African tribes living in our Amazon, and they are one of the best boatsmen because they build the boat by hand, and they can travel. As you can see, they can travel upstream like it's nothing. We tried to bring some jaguars, but it was not allowed, so don't worry. Sorry? We tried to bring some jaguars also, but it was oh. not allowed, so don't worry, they're not animals. <laughs> this is a howler monkey. It's a quite a funny story because it's one of the smallest monkey species in Suriname. Okay. But it has one of the loudest roars. It goes like... So before it was discovered, people thought there were evil spirits in the jungle. Uh. <laughs> Until they discovered it, they're like, oh, they're cute. Thank you, but don't so this is a this is a beautiful thing in Suriname because it's the tree of life. Mm -hmm. uh, the tree of life has a special kind of fruit because every time the tree uh, is in season, all different animals from of the jungle jungle they come together to eat and they stop attacking each other. Mm -hmm. Even the jaguar eats from it and just relaxes. So we think the food is uh, the fruit is nutritious, but we suspect it has a psychoactive compound which makes them relax. Um. But the moment the fruit is out of season, the jaguar eats everybody. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so don't trust the jaguar. <laughs> okay. This is uh, the biggest eagle in the world. It's uh, only eagle. in the Amazon, yeah. It has a wingspan of over two meters uh -huh. and its claw are bigger than a bear's claw. Two meters? Yeah. And oh. uh, the interesting thing to know about is it's the only bird in the Anas Amazon that doesn't know fear. It doesn't, it's not afraid of humans, doesn't, you can sit right beside it and if you if you touch it, it will attack. But if it's eating, it, it doesn't mind. Mm -hmm. But all the other birds are afraid of every sound. <laughs> uh, jaguar, most people know the jaguar. We have a few, a lot of jaguar in our Amazon, but they are still being hunted yeah. and poached uh, for their skin and for their medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to reach some uh, uh, awareness uh, to the international community to come help us uh, because Surinamese has only over uh, 500,000, half a million uh, people, uh, uh, registered inhabitants because we have a few tribes that don't want contact with the outside world. So they are not registered. But uh, in, the, in the main city, mm -hmm. we have about uh, 500,000. And, and uh, it's, uh, it has become too much to manage. So we're, we're, we're uh, grateful for the expo to, to invite uh, the international community to come, come help invest and, and see what we can uh, do to preserve them. This is a blue poison dart frog. It's uh, it's native to our, to the Amazon, so you won't find it anywhere on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's well known around the planet because okay. people have them as, as pets. But uh, this is one of our pets. Because, yeah, pets. yeah. We we still have the illegal uh, trade of uh. Uh, Amazon animals. So you guys know the toucan, right? Yeah. The toucan is native to. Um, to the Amazon, but now it's it's found around the world because people buy it illegally, and then they escape, and then they start living where they are. And most mm -hmm. of the parrots that you know come from the Amazon. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a beautiful shot. Here you can see almost high tide, and still the boatsmen know how to go upstream. I tried it once, but uh, I almost drowned. So <laughs> we don't understand how they do it. They explained to us that they know that um, although the current is going one way. The water spins and it creates like a less current on that spot. So they know how to identify where to bring the bring the boat. So these are some of the business opportunities in Suriname. We have an oil industry. Uh, we just discovered oil uh, uh, offshore. So we're uh, just now building an oil industry before the Americans smell it. So we go to. You guys know the legend of El Dorado. Which one? It's, a, it's an ancient city of gold. We suspect that Suriname was that city. Ah. Yeah, because we have a, we have a lot of gold in our jungle, but our jungle is so dense that we can't even get to it. So for years we have been keeping it a secret, but we now realize that we, we need to share it with the world, otherwise uh, the poachers and pirates will get to it somehow. Ah. And they, they don't uh, mind destroying nature while doing that. So that's why we're here on the expo to create some awareness uh, of the and Enjoy. We have agriculture, uh, because of our multicultural uh, uh, ethnicities, they brought um, fruits and, and greens from, from their countries, so from India, Indonesia, Africa, uh, etc. And so we have like a, a, a big variety of uh, fruits, uh, seeds, and, and... Mm -hmm.
nami egi brodu. Meshi misrefi iu fesi. I I want to invite you to Suriname Pavilion. Suriname is a small country in South America. We have over uh, 500,000 uh, people, half a million uh, inhabitants. We are multicultural. We are can, we consist of uh, people from India, from Indonesia, people from Africa, people from the Netherlands. We have Lebanese, uh, and because of our multicultural, we are called the most multicultural people uh, country in the world. Um, over 96% of our country is only forest, jungle, the Amazon. So uh, we, we have uh, the most uh, diverse uh, animals in our jungle, such as the jaguar. We have uh, the biggest eagle. We have, uh, we have uh, 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 the blue poison dart frog. And we have howler monkeys, among many others. So by, I invite you to come again, to come see us at the pavilion. Otherwise, visit our country sometime. Thank you so much. How is the visa restrictions? Uh, do you know if you have any restrictions for visas? Like uh, no, it's quite easy to get a uh, visa in Suriname because we are considered the third world country still. Uh -huh. So uh, it's, it's quite easy to get a uh, visa. I would really and, love to. And visa. even the passport. So there are a lot of people coming to Suriname now. So we're growing, but uh, I think we can grow even more. Uh -huh. I'll for sure visit. Uh, yeah, this I is will keep you to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. So that's it for Suriname, and I hope you'll enjoy the tour. I'll put a comprehensive tour for the whole thing. I already did it. And thank you so much, Dave. You're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and visit Suriname. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>